Hello everybody, I'm the here from the Hammer Game Channel. Welcome back to the Great War Redux and to my Chinese Empire playthrough. In the last episode, uh, we finished up by joining the good old Reich's Pact. Um, they have got a little bit of an issue on going over here with the, with the North American Federation as well as, uh, well, just the Bat uh, Batavian Republic. However, I feel like the common term is going to have been dealt with by the end of this uh, episode. I forgot that the Soviet Union decided to do the anti-Bolshevik coup and the Democrats are going to take control. Hilarious. Still not going to help them. Um, I think we also got rid of the uh, influenza pandemic last episode as well because right now we've only got the farm crisis, the mandate of heaven and the alliance of the, uh, the Beiyang army. Call the arms. I'm in that. I am in that war. It's French Indochina. Oh, the Republic of Vietnam is actually free. I am very tempted to take them over. What are we short of? Support equipment. Oh, bollocks, we are. That is fine. So, what we can do is we can do that. Oh, we actually got spare. Get you on there. What are we actually building? Building some more dockyards, getting some ma military factories and more civvies. Cool, cool, cool. But we're doing a great, nice wee push right now into the Alash Order. Oh yeah, we're not exactly getting any land from this, are we? Since the Alash Order's in the ranks back. That's fine, I guess. You know, I'm helping, helping defeat the Russians. That's all that matters. Might go ahead and extend my puppet a little bit bigger and maybe just have um, you know, up to Tanu Tabu. Take more of Siberia. Um, I'm not going to bother with fortifications. Could do the tank prototype design. Then I can get some tanks, but it's 1920. We're only really going to keep going until I've actually done well. I just want to see what happens if we get Puyai. We can demand that they leave China. Now, they might be willing to do that. Oh, we've got refused to surrender. Okay. Uh, we missed the Great War. Um, yeah, hopefully, since we're in the Reich's Pact, our allies will happily give us the ports. That'd be kind of nice if they did. Just like, oh yeah, we're friends now. Here you go, have your land back. I don't know if the French will give us it back, but we could start a war with them. Hope and Portugal, mm, they may all return the land. They may not. So military fact, no, not military factory. Research wise, um, could go ahead and do submarines fleet. The armies of warlords, support technology. To be honest, I don't think it really matters. Let's just go ahead and put air production on. Oh yes, yes, give me, give me the submarines. That's where the dockyards are going. We've got one more in production, that's fine. Oh, prospect for, um, prospect for resources. Excavation three, we should probably go ahead and maybe um, do that and actually get some more, um, Resources. We're not exactly rich on resources. No, not really at all. Um, oh no, Russia. Oh dear. Oh dear, we're actually short of all of our equipment now. Okay, had the bus. Had the bus. Actually, you can get in there. But I don't want us trying to go any further because we have exhausted our equipment. Oh my days, and this. Oh, you absolute idiots. Oh, way to kill supply. My god, that. You've absolutely killed it.
I could literally back off now if I really wanted to. Now, Afghanistan is always an option to invade as well. Could take them out. Oh, there goes the Batavian Republic. Belgium's still doing okay, actually, which is not very odd. The Americans have not joined in the war, though. They'd be very neutral here, which I don't understand why they would make the faction and not bother actually helping out. I don't know what the, the Holy Roman Empire is doing right now, but they're not doing great. Ah, it's a nice wee pocket of Russians there. So who's in charge now of um, Russia? Viktor Chernov. Okay. We recognize him from Kaiser Reich, of course. True democratic elections, time to unite. Next war goal against the Russian Empire. Union of Sovereign States. Yep, yeah, wow. Um, do you know what? Just going to wait until they're all covering that front. I think I might just leave it. They've only got a million in the army. No, don't do the Rome Act, Germany. Yeah, we're at war, so that's obviously called that. Why? Don't do that. Why would you do that now? You kick them out the faction. What a silly idea that is. Let's go ahead and upgrade the torpedoes. Yeah, I'm very tempted to just peace out. Just because, well, the, supp the supply is gone. It's gone. It's, it's absolutely useless. Look at this. Way to go, AI. I'll cover my core territory, but that, that is about it. Yep, there we go. We're leaving that front. What is the absolute point in that? I think maybe we should try and work on... Oh, the really improved worker conditions may not be a bad idea. Flippin' heck. Absolutely useless. We're not even that pushing that well over here. Where is the Imperial Federation? You have 108 divisions, and I just don't know where they are. Yep, come on, guys. Let's get back. No point staying there. It's just killing us. How strong. We only have 327k. Wow. We don't have a massive army, really. And again, our industry is still pathetic in comparisons to... Saying that, it's not that pathetic in comparison... Well, it, in comparison to the Holy Roman Empire, yes. Can't believe they're going to kick. Save the declare war in Italy as well. Oh, the march on Rome. Oh. It's Mussolini time in 13 days. Oh, ho. Who's fighting down? Oh, yes, Serbia. Really? That's incredible. Yep, Italy is no longer in a faction. The Danish throne. Do they have much else to do? Fall Barbarossa. You're kind of doing that early. Here's the production front. Fantastic. March on Rome. Where is he? There he is. There he is. Good for you. Could see them go to war with Ethiopia by the time this finishes. Powerful Mafia. 
Do they have that? They do. Which is not helping them at all. Gosh, we are losing guns. We're not even engaging anymore. The supply's still killing us. A little. Do you know what? Let's just let's just leave. Let us leave the front. We're gonna go back home. We're not gonna do anything because the AI has ruined it. Which, let's be honest, is not a surprise at all. At least Japan's got the exact same number of divisions as us. Only 51% supplied. Their army is pathetic, actually. Oh, well, we do have two subs, which sadly is not enough to beat their navy. Not yet. Advanced ship torpedo launcher, why the hell not? Right, so are we cooling on the gun deficit now? Well, yep, there we go, we're making guns again. Oh, thank you so much. Send me equipment. Great. I'll maybe just pick a fight with Japan then, guys. <laughs> That's what I'll do. Oh, and what I've actually been meaning to do is... Um, is actually go ahead and build a port up here. That's... That's what we need to do. Oh no. Oh no. The Union of Britain. Oh dear oh dear. Why have you risen up against the, them? Is this just the year of civil wars and just... Yep, we knew that was going to happen. They have like no divisions at home. You idiots. In Mongolia, you cannot join. Why do the French want a non-aggression pact? Oh, because they're fighting Serbia as well. Oh, the fate of the Bolsheviks. I wonder what's going to happen to them. Probably all going to die. That is definitely what they're going to do. Just going to kill them all. Yeah, we could see the downfall of the Imperial Federation here. Oh, we are definitely going to see the downfall of the Imperial Federation. You fools. You absolute fools. Yeah, they're, they're not surviving. In fact, they cancelled the lend -Lease. Of course they have. Look at all their divisions, like, trying to come home. Now, they may have, may have slowed them down a little bit, but still don't think it's going to help them. Still can't believe the amount of troops that's in there. Do you know how many troops do you have? Do you know what? I want Vietnam. I want them, so I'm going to take them. Do they have any ships? No, they don't, which means I can go ahead and just able invade Saigon. It will be as easy as pie, hopefully. Don't want to get too ahead of myself. Oh, don't have any of the... Um, yeah, local uh, landing ships, please. Why was I going to say local ships? Landing ships. Request garrison support. Manpower needs to maintain the policies. Current total foreign manpower in their stock. I guess I will decline you. Because you, you, you're not going to win. You're not going to win. You're dead. You're dead. They have, they have defeated you. 10 to 46 divisions, you only have 79. And they'll be elsewhere in the world. 
guess I could always call my puppet, but I'm not going to do that. You head over there. 215 days as far as that help. Oh dear. I thought it was going to go a little bit better, that push, but... Really, that's just unbelievable how many of them came. Russians have lost 920k though. True democratic elections. Yeah, that's 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 fine, I guess. Thank heavens we have non-aggression packs for you. I still can't believe Belgium. What are the Germans doing against? The, I mean, the Holy Roman Empire doing against the Belgians, like. I don't really want to end up at war with- oh my days, we lost steel. Where's all your steel gone? America, I need your steel now, please. Ah, oh, the downfall of the Imperial Federation. Gosh, that is- that is not great. Oh, a mess Africa is as well. I, mean, I was wishing it would tell me how many men they actually do have in their forces. Oh my days. We have a fleet of three whole ships. There goes Belgium. Let's get excavation two, and we'll continue to watch them die. Oh, they really, really ran back over here in a hurry. Yes, yeah, sixteen iron. Give me it. Finally, so they get own. We're on the way to exports. Yeah, we are. Well, it's almost 1921, so in fact it is. So Puyai should be joining us any minute now. Whenever his birthday turns out to be. Which, if I just quickly give it to you, I'll Google. We should have him in February. It was February the 7th. And his first real war will probably end up being against Japan because, well, he didn't start this one, did he? Come on, where, where are you guys playing at? Come on. 99 divisions from the hook. Why did I join the Reichspact? I should be betraying them. Can I do the whole... Flip sides and join the common term, please. If I had known this was going to happen, I would have maybe have actually joined. Well, aided the common turn. I really hope the Americans don't. Oh no, they're not just in a faction by themselves now. Sad times for them. Then again, they didn't actually aid their allies whatsoever, so yeah, they're useless. They're almost caught up in guns. It's almost February the 7th. And we're not too far away from going to war. Okay, the Batavian Commune, not Commune, Republic's died again. Now, we better watch out, we've got two proto-fascists here. Although they don't really have a massive army. Oh, famine, that won't be helping. Oh, Puyai, Puyai should be 16 now. 
It should be should be sixteen. Give us our emperor. Just see if there's anything here I want to grab. I think it's nineteen twenty when you become sixteen. Unless I've done maths wrong this entire time. Ah, it's 22. All ah, right, okay. Um, well done, dude. You, you can't do maths. Okay, we've got less than a year to wait now. And then we should be able to continue doing our focus tree. Finally. Yay, fighter three. Oh gosh, they're actually losing in here, some of the divisions. I don't really want to start losing my cores, but I was saying that supply is good in them now, but all these divisions are going to get pushed back, so. Yeah, it's great. Um, landing barge, let's do that. At least now I can. Ah, there's only 10 divisions, isn't it? Oh, it's finished. Five submarines. Grand. Come down to the uh, South China Sea, please. Oh, Germans. I mean, the Holy Roman Empire wouldn't help us out. So is Romania, and so is the Ottomans. Oh, no, they're not in position yet. Ah, uh, of course they joined the common turn. That is fine. But I want all the glorious tungsten. And I guess the six rubber. Come, come by railway. Come on. Straight down you come, please. Oh, yes. And that steel. How are we doing on steel now? Okay, we're only short at 32, that's grand. We'll continue to trade with the Americans. We can be friends, America. We can be friends. Oh, they're not here yet, but they were. Almost here. Sorry, sorry, Vietnam. I know you got your independence from France, but... Yeah. We're liberating China, so... Still under a colonial administration, so you know, although they're not, you know, a puppet of the French or anything, they are still still a colonial nation. <laughs> Apparently. Colonial administration. Right. Right, here goes ten divisions. Off we go. To Saigon. Where's their capital? Hi uh, Hanoi? Not too sure, but we're actually struggling a little bit. Why is the Imperial Federation wanting to send us guns when they are very close to dying now? Oh, not bad. We're not doing too shabby at all over here. Real question is, are we going to land in the south? Saigon is the capital now. There is one division defending. If I had set up the to the land beside, we would have probably been in any bother. Ah, we're in Nabal there anyways. Grand. Let's just defeat, uh, delete those. And let's just set up a nice wee defensive plan there. Yeah, and just start spreading out. Let's get a Cambodia. That's where the new capital is. And the divisions in the north are doing just fine. Might, might be able to send him down to actually cut them off before they can retreat. We get one division to just mop up the south there. Cambodia's now fallen, just head up there and cut that off, and then we'll just get some of them up that up as well, and just get the rest of the divisions pushing up. Oh, it does look like we are, in fact, maybe going to get this encirclement. Oh, they've died before then. That is fine. 
And we have plenty of equipment now. Great. Nice. We could also take out Siam. 10 to 29 divisions. Do you know what, Siam? You can just chill, I guess. more to that. Right, let's go ahead and set you up there and set you up there. And we do have a glorious wee port up there. We'll go ahead and bend the rest because we don't probably need that. Where's the fleet at? Let's bend that and we'll just tell them to go up here. Fantastic. The Union of Sovereign States. Great. Looks like we're trying to go on the offensive. It ain't going so well. Uh, we have been pushed back. I take it the Danish accepted. Yeah, they're a puppet. Sweden's not had. Oh, line from the north. Let's see what happens there. I just, I cannot believe that. Cannot believe that civil war. Kind of wants Mauser. Oh, got we encirclement there. Kill that, guys. Come on. Excavation three. That should open up. Oh, we've opened up a lot more, anyways. Um. Let's get some more steel, some aluminium, and some oil. Why not? Open the guns now for a little bit. I think what I will go ahead and do is actually create 10 more divisions. Oh, Ellie's going after Ethiopia. Genius idea. Oh yes, they're puppets, so I don't have to cover that. Pure federations cancel the land lease. That is completely fine. And well, I guess we'll continue to monitor how the war goes against the Union of Sovereign States. So I might just divert my attention onto uh, Yoshito. Yoshihito, sorry, nine to thirty-seven. Just awful divisions, man. We're ninety-nine percent. Equipped, so what we're doing getting this other 10 out is they'll join the greens and the greens will do the naval invasion. So, I could probably just naval invade the south, anyways, as well. We could try and catch them off guard once we've got divisions up here. But, anyways, guys, I'm gonna leave that episode there. So, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoy, and I shall be back very soon for another episode. Till then, take care, cheer bye for now.